Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable question and answer in a Teams meeting. Previously, there was a specific app to have this capability in a meeting. Right now, it's extremely easy to turn on question and answer. Let's check it out together. Let's get started. Here I am in Microsoft Teams. I just created this meeting, question and answer. Let me join this meeting. I am now in the meeting with my colleagues. Let's say that I'm ready to activate and enable question and answer for this session. To enable question and answer, you have to go on more action icon and then on meeting options. If you scroll at the bottom, you can find enable question and answer. Let's turn on this toggle button and then let's click on the button save. You will notice on top a new icon available called question and answers. If you click on this icon, you are able to change the settings going on the wheel icon for question and answer. And here you can check or uncheck, ask new questions, respond to conversations, post anonymously, allow organizers to moderate attendee conversation. Let's skip this configuration as is. Let me open again question and answer. And now here you can start, you can create a new discussion or you can let the people ask something. Now, let me jump from an attendee's perspective, how it works and let's see how to create a first question. I am now in Teams connected as Adele Events. If I click on the button question and answer, I can ask something. So let's click on this field and then here I can start to create my question. Could you provide best practices for this specific scenario? And here I can make some specific test, bold or italic. If I click on the ellipsis button, I can add a link, an ordered list, or I can create a bulk list. Now I am ready to post my first question. And here we go. Changing again perspective, I am Giuliano now and I can provide my reaction to this question. So I can love, like, love, celebrate, thank or sad. Let me add a like and then if I click on comment, I can provide my answer. So I'm going to click here on the field and then I can provide my, my answer. Sure, check the link below. Let's click on post. And now I provided my answer. Other attendees can like, unlike or provide additional comment to this specific text. When you have a lot of answers, what you can do is mark one has the best answer if you want clicking on this icon and then you will see this label on top of the comment. Now let me end this meeting so I can show you after the meeting if someone is interested to check again back the question and answer session. Let me close and end the meeting. I am back on my calendar, double click on the meeting and here I have several tabs available. Now, there's no question and answer tab available, so there's no way to check back the thread of question and answers. To add a new tab with question and answer and to check the result, you can click on the plus button and then you can add the app question and answer. Then let's click on save and now the question and answer app is added. So as you can see, I have the summary of my previous session. This is pretty cool because it gives the chance to check back the question and answer session for all participants to the meeting. All right, we have seen how to turn on question and answer in a Teams meeting. If you enjoyed this video, as always, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, comment. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.